Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Skyrim, where we have just joined up with the Dawn Guard, and now we are assassinating some vampires on our own. Benor is sadly unavailable, because he's actually gone to live on a farm in Peru, where there are no phones, and that's all we shall say about that matter. So we're on our own, because Vigilance, I've decided he's going to stay by the door. So I'm going to try and do this entire dungeon in super badass sneaky mode, which is really, really bloody cool, it must be said. But first, I need a spot of light for some exploring on this side of the area. Ah, hello. What have we got down here? Just got ourselves some... Ah, just some loot. A little ruin at the back, including all sorts of bits and pieces. Oh, yes, that'll flipping do. 85% weaker to magic. That's worth thinking about slapping on a blade for the right person, yes. But, aha! I think I might have needed to have come this way. Because this chain activates that gate over there. Good, I need to get through that gate regardless. Marvellous. Now, I've got Muffle and a really good Assassin Dagger and my Vass ability. But, other than that, I kind of can't get stuck in a melee. Bear in mind also I've got Throw Voice. Throw Voice is also pretty damn cool for this sort of a thing. So, make my way forward, but be very, very careful that we don't actually disturb anyone around here. And just keep farsing, by the way. Okay, the next set of enemies are quite a way further ahead, so we're alright for the time being. Ah! Can't help but notice, though. Big pile of crypts. But a crypt, if it's got something in it, you can literally see said thing with Vass. Which would just... Oh! I see you up there. Hello over there. Right. There's our next target. Let's just, if we can, jump up here because we've got a chest. Help ourselves too. And there's you as well. Always welcome to have a bit more gold. Now, there's a few people up there. Let's start sneaking up on them. First things first, let's get in some darkness here. Just wait so my candlelight goes away. Very, very nice indeed. Now, Quick go back over to Muffle, because the Muffle have worn off over the same period of time. So, Muffle up. That's silent, of course, to quiet casting. Vass. Now a Vass. Okay. Few people around there, potentially. This could get dicey. Where are all these people? Because I see you there. You're not a person, though. You're just a random post. Ah! Vass. There's a skeleton down there. Fine. I see. So, not all of your people, some of you are other stuff. Okay. So, if I could sneak up on that there skeleton, that might work pretty nicely uh, as a good starting point anyway. Or, hmm, okay. Yeah, sneak up on the skeleton. That's got to be the right place to start. Oh, actually, there's a load of skeletons. Okay, this area, I think, actually, we're better off just basically tossing one of our guys into and not dealing with... Subtly, because there's so many skeletons who are extremely weak. Best thing I can do probably is just saying, you know what? You, no, you deal with those lads. Lovely. Finish off them, and then everyone else is going to run round over to here, and they're all going to be taken care of like that. And then I will simply ah, blooded vampire. Okay, that seems sort of bad. Hello over there. Okay, I probably shouldn't be on the dagger right now, but screw it. Whatever. Uh, now it's just you, you, you. Lovely. Dagger does swing nice and fast, so that bonus damage off the enchantment does stack up. Shouldn't be doing that, though. The enchantment doesn't last very long. We need to be recharged really soon. Right. That's the right way to take care of you, unquestionably, just because, yeah. Room full of weak enemies like that. Not so bad. Now, next up. Do a quick vast here. And that's why all of the crypts were empty, of course, because she had already dug them up. So hang on. What's that? Oh, that's just search the skeleton whose bones happens to be there. No problem at all. Okay. Bunch of more vampires in this direction, though. On we flipping go. Vass. Now, keep on with the Vass. Next group of people are... Okay. Quite a bit of distance in that direction. We're not on top of them just yet. More random undead. Or rather, I suppose just dead, to be perfectly honest. They do just seem to be dead because, you know... They are dead. They're corpses. They're not moving. That's pretty much what you expect. So, uh, nothing too remarkable going on there. Vigorous magic. Grand soul gem. Black soul. Ooh, black soul gem. The best kind of soul gem. Very, very nice indeed. Right. 
I'm guessing there's someone in this here next room. Right, hang on. We got. Oh! Hello! Ah! Okay. We've got you lot fighting each other. Now I need to. Oh, uh oh. Oh, one of you's come over here, bloody hell. Why would you have run over in this direction for no well explained reason? Boo! Right, everyone back off for a second, please. Who else is coming over in this direction? Because I'd rather stay out of this for the time being. So everyone just stay back. That's right. Yep, if a death lord and a vampire master want to just kind of wail on each other for a bit, that all flipping works for me. I'd say we just fall back and let them. And somebody just won that fight. Okay, which side just won? I think I just heard a human voice go, ah, suggesting the death lord won, right? Yeah, that's a death lord, still has half his health. Well, that's all right, we can sneak up on him now. Right, remuffle up. Illusion hits, ooh, illusion 70. That's good. Right, wait, 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 wait. Go for a vas. There's the man we want, lovely. And, oh, he's going in this direction. And stabbed right in the gut, nice. Hidden in the dark, job done. Ebony war axe. Nice little bit of kit there. In fact, that just jumped from 56 to 77 and you all saw it. I think the game forgot to calculate some extra bonus damage there for a minute. Now, we've got two ways we can go here. Because there's blatantly a pool chain right here. Okay. That's quite frankly suspicious. A well-lit up corridor leading to something. Okay. I'm willing to walk into this blatantly obvious trap. All right. Where is it? Where's the trap? What's the... Ooh. Okay. Potions. Huge numbers of potions. What? Okay. This is blatantly an obvious trap, but I'm willing to take it. And... Okay. Not a trap. Just some weirdly well lit... All right, then. Some useless potions just sitting there. That's incredibly suspicious, but what up? Hang on, wasn't there a... Wasn't there a guy in that direction? Tentative there's still someone over here. I think there's a third way to go in this direction. Ah, okay. Yeah? There's something here. And that is... Ah! Okay. That'll be that person. That person wakes up. Well, that's okay. I think we'll go and give him a friend. Another undead friend. They can be undead friends together and everything will be fine. There we flipping go. And it is indeed one death lord, but two people together, especially if I can just get behind the death lord over here. Oh yeah, you're in trouble, my good man. You're in trouble very quickly. There he goes. Nice bit of one-handed there. Right, I thought I saw an extra person. Lovely. Now I'm guessing, potentially, that... Oh. No, no, never mind. That's fine. It's just some smoke. I was worried there for a second. Yeah, if you use Vash, you can figure out which of these ways is the right way ahead of time. Because you want to avoid that one if you potentially can. Now, what else have we got here? Because... Okay, I see a handful of extra people up ahead. But, pretty far ahead, in fact. Just going to give myself a spot of extra light for a moment, just so I can see what I'm doing. Right. Loopy, loopy, loop. Loopy, loopy, aha. Now, what do we have in here? Vass. Quick new vass. We've got, ah. Okay. Have we got flipping things underwater? I suspect we... Oh! They're just... Oh, they're skeletons! Oh, that's not so, you know, worrying or anything. Right, new Dramora Lord for you guys, because it's a flipping skeleton. <laughs> I think we can handle skeletons, alright? So let's just take down some flipping skeletons. Alright, lovely. And more skeletons. Oh, skeleton wearing armour. Whatever shall we do? Right. Oh, you were a little bit on the tough side. Right. You lead the charge against that person who's tossing some ice spikes up there. It's a Night Stalker. Bloody flipping da. Right. Shall we get her on the ground by any chance? Oh, she's retreating or tossing ice at you. That's bloody clever. And oh dear. You're not actually so tough when you actually get uh, caught up with, are you? No. No, you're flipping not. And down you go. Lovely. Oh, she's been stabbed through the chest. Well done, Moira. Lovely. Good work. And you're just running on to the next one. Right. Blooded. 
How good is Blooded? Oh, bloody hell. Right. I'm going to toss in a new one just to potentially buy myself some time here because there's, there's several vampires. Oh, dear. Right. I think I can handle the hound, though. Oh, yeah. The hound is fine. Nice. And then we've got Night Stalker. How well can I handle Night Stalker? I think I can just about handle one Night Stalker by myself. Just... Yeah, but it's closed. Right, you keep them busy. I need to go over to close wounds for a second. Uh, right. Lovely. That's a... Uh, oh, that's just Death Hound. Oh, well done. Right. I think we can handle these vampires. I think we've got their number, to be honest. Could have probably snuck up on those guys better. But in all fairness, the... Uh, yeah. Those uh, skeletons did a good job being a bit of an early warning system for them, which was probably their purpose. And Night Stalker. Ah! Never do mind some potions. But for getting skills up, those are always bloody useful. Now, I think, actually, that might be about your lot, unless more have come into range. No. Vass is no longer detecting anything living in this area, but it's also telling me I need to go through a load zone, so there's probably a second tier to this place yet. This place is admittedly bigger than I was expecting, but I think we're under control for the time being. Yep, lovely indeed. And there were once spiders here, but those guys have already been cleared out. Chess. Does appear to be a trap. Lovely. Anything major? No. Fairly basic stuff there. Ultimate stamina and plentiful magicka. Sure, I'll never use them, but I'll pretend that there's a theoretical possibility I might, which I suppose technically there is. Now we're upstairs. Oh. Okay. Hang on. We've got some more trouble there. I'm pretty sure that is a spider taking on a master vampire. And you've utterly destroyed that guy. No problem there. Right. Dagger and Muffle. Once again. Lovely. Okay. They're just chatting to each other about being hungry, hungry vampires. Now you're right over there. No problem. How many are left? Quick mass. I can only see one, so I'm not sure who you were actually talking to. But, oh, hang on. There's a load of people way more in that direction. Now you're walking over here. Right. Now I just need to very quickly kill the lights. Oh, no, I can't because there's a bloody enemy nearby. There we go. Fell far enough back. Remuffle. Vass in. And he is now walking away. And... Nice. Oh, the sneak attack was not enough. Right, okay. So as it turns out, Night Master Vampires are indeed pretty badass, because that's 15 times damage to him. Well, that's fine. We're going to need... Actually, you know what? Nightingale Blade. If we're going to get stuck in a protracted melee with this guy, then absorbing health off him, which I imagine he's going to start doing to me at the same time, this might be a perfect time for that now. Right, so I also need some... Summoning, please. Oh, blimey. Okay. He can pretty much one-shot me. Sneaking up on him, not good enough. But, backup plan here. Now. Nope, screw you. Before you can do anything, ice form him. Just a simple ice form. Don't need to go for all three tiers or anything. Now he's on the ground, I can get myself properly set up here. Including, oh yeah, you know what? I don't need help. I've got a plan now. My plan is flipping chill rent. Though, just in case I do need backup, I'm just going to, you know, get some backup in there. Right. And now, just quickly get him down. And he does not resist the paralysis effect. Nice. Okay. So now we know if we see a Nightmaster Vampire, those guys are not flipping kidding and they also have some form of powerful conjuration magic and they will just one-shot me in my robes. Right, gotta be careful. And in we go to Dim Hollow Cavern. He's also muttering, yeah, we were sent to find out- ooh, gargoyles. I've seen these guys being mentioned on the loading screens. Hopefully I'll get to start summoning those soon. I mean, nothing wrong with you, Moira. You are lovely. You have done wonderful, wonderful work. But, just for variety, summoning a gargoyle occasionally does sound hilarious too. We were sent here to actually find what the vampires were wanting to do. Well, I think we now know they're looking for something. We just don't know quite bloody what. Also, this is very vampiric. This is very good and gothic and vampiric right here. I approve. Into the cavern we go. I'll never tell you anything, vampire. I oath to Stendark. 
stronger than any suffering you can inflict on me. I believe you, Vigilant. And I don't think you even know what you found here. So go and meet your beloved Stendhal. Are you sure that was wise, Lokio? He still might have told us something. We haven't gotten anywhere ourselves with nothing. He served his purpose by leading us to this place. Now it is up to us to win on the prize. And we will not return without it. Vingalmo and Orthiof will make way for me after this. Yes, of course, Loki. Do not forget who brought you news of the Vigilance Discovery. I never forget who my friends are. Or my enemies. Okay. Something about this place. This is a big, important place. Right, let's get a quick O whisper in here. How bad is the situation? Actually... Not so bad. Three vampires, but now we know if they're Nightmaster, I can't assassinate them even with a 15x sneak attack. Okay. Then we should probably at least give it a go. See what we can pull off here. Also, what does this do? That just... Ah! Okay. That just closes that particular door. No worries. Now... Muffle up again, nice and quick. It's probably worn off by now. We've got... Ah! I'm guessing you are a Vigilant of Stendar. And I'm guessing that note next to you might just be of flipping interest to me. Okay. Let's just sneak down to him as quick as we can here. Just see if we can stay in the shadows. And potentially... Uh oh You're coming this way. You're coming this way. You're coming this way. Jump over the... Jump. Jump over the... Get round the back over here. Yes. Yep, that guy's coming in this direction, but this might be a good chance to assassinate him, in fact. Alright, oh. Is he now going back to Okay, now he's going back over there. That's fine. Come on, 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 come on. Just quickly. There he goes. Get down, nice and quiet. Back away, back away, back away, back away, back away, back away, back away. Please don't see that corpse. No, you haven't. Good. Right, now this is important. Notes on Dim Hollow Crypt Volume 3. Now this is what we need to know. Now what's going on? So in a single huge cavern that I'm in right now is an island of stone and a subterranean lake. Upon this island is something I can only describe as an elaborate ceremonial construction surrounded by stone columns linked by arches. Fine, that's what's directly in front of us. And also the gargoyle statues that we haven't seen anywhere else. Fine, also true. I'm now certain the main construct in this main chamber was built long after the crypt and by wholly different masters must be the same builders who placed the gargoyles through the crypt potentially to frighten away the curious. Okay, all signs indicate the masons who crafted these strange arches were servants of some ancient master who favoured necromancy or vampirism. But unfortunately, he doesn't know exactly who those builders were or what this place was actually for. Instead, he needs to return to the Hall of the Vigilant and share these findings, but I'm guessing potentially that was this guy right here, and the Hall of the Vigilant was also already burnt, so didn't actually do much good work there. Right, grab that, and you are... Yep, indeed, that was the exact guy. Marvellous. Nothing major on him, looks like they'd already pretty much stripped him naked. Alright, fine. So in that case, re-muffle up for safety, and now need to take out the next two lads in the middle of this here structure. Now what do you guys do? You just wander around, but potentially taking out both of you subtly. Ah, oh, we've got a Khajiit as well there. Right, taking out both of you subtly might be a bit on the difficult side. If I stay in the shadow though, we should be alright. You just wander backwards and forwards, kind of more in the outer ring, you on the left. The guy on the right sticks more on the inner. If she's about to go more in this sort of way by the bridge, potentially we might be able to pick her off as she's doing her circuits. Yeah, that might work. Assuming neither of you are bloody night masters. And then that guy over there, he also turns his back pretty often. Okay, we might be able to pull off a double assassinate here, but only if we're lucky with their positionings and the timings. Ah, they're both Khajiits, in fact. Okay. 
And you are currently facing towards this way. But if you want to walk away about now. Yes. Okay, let's give it a go. Give it a go, give it a go, give it a go, give it a go, give it a go. See if we can just get in over here and number one. Right. And oh no, the other one spotted me, but that's fine. Gone straight over for an attack and is also bringing up some people to help out. Well, that's okay. All I need to do now is, yeah, trust in Chilrend and my Dramora Lord can distract for them. So that will be fine. Uh, you're going to use some magic. Block up the bridge with you. That's fine. He'll distract. Low kill is not actually that tough at all. No. Low kill can go down pretty fast. And as soon as he goes down, his skeletons will all collapse. Marvellous. Right. Nice and simple, in fact. Good, good, good. Right. Low kill. What did you have on you? Shame we couldn't get both of you down with a sneak attack. That would have been super badass. Uh, nothing major there. Vampire dust. Yeah. Nothing special. No notes explaining anything. But we can now get a closer look at this here structure. We can... Ah. Okay. Push these things into the middle. There's a button. I probably shouldn't have pushed the button. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Have I just sacrificed some blood to a... To a Daedra? Because I feel like that's what I've done. And now I'm... Okay. Maybe just push these things. Yeah, push them into... Position. Right. That seems to be happy with... Ooh. Right. Okay. What are you wanting me to do? I've sacrificed some blood to this thing. And if I just push this guy forward... Yeah, just push that forward... That's not good enough to do anything. That doesn't do anything. Ah, okay. I think I need to create, like, a chain of them. Okay, so uh, this one is currently glowing. Okay, if I push this one forward, does that now catch the glow? Okay. That's now created... Can I push this one further out, by the way? Yes, I can, in theory. That's now got that circling around there. Okay. Now, ah! This one needs to go out to the back instead. Okay. You, out to the back. Okay, because it just feels like what I'm doing right now is a good thing. That's already... That feels like that should already be in a good position, really, but okay. Like, if I push this, maybe if I just kind of put it back into the right position. Yeah. Okay. That feels like all of them are doing something. Ah, no, it's not. This one needs to go one further in, doesn't it? To complete the, the pattern. I think, anyway. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right. I've, I've done a thing. I've, I've turned the thing into a different thing. Okay, good. That's good. That all worked. That's apparently what I was supposed to do. Use the button again? I guess so, sure. Right. Use the... Use the... Okay, use the... Use the... Okay, or activate the stone monolith. We've got a... Oh! Hello, we've got the... Oh! Hello! Sorry! I didn't realise you were in there. Also, you're blatantly the vampire queen, aren't you? Where is... Who sent you here? Um, okay. A man named Isran. Uh, no, never mind. Let's not tell her anything. Just for the time being. Who exactly were you expecting? Blatantly queen of the vampires. I was expecting someone... Like me, at least. Okay, and I'm guessing you're a vampire. Uh, can't you tell just from looking at me? A vampire. Okay, and why exactly were you locked away? I'm guessing because you were basically too good a vampire, I'm assuming, anyway. That's complicated. And I'm not totally sure if I can trust you. But if you want to know the whole story, help me get back to my family's home. Okay, that strikes me as eminently reasonable. Ooh! Is that Hogwarts? Are you wanting me to take you back to Hogwarts? Because I'm so up for that. My family used to live on an island to the west of Solitude. I would guess they still do. By the way, my name is Serana. Good to meet you. Okay, Serana. Well, good news. I'm actually in the market for a new companion right now. My last one 
never mind. Like, well, technically, actually, you'd probably understand. Like, you kill people, and you're dead. Well, he's dead too, so maybe we don't ask further questions. Right, how exactly are we planning to get out of here? And, ooh, is that indeed an Elder Scroll that you're carrying around? Because I carry around one of those too. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it, but I've just got an Elder Scroll in my inventory as well. No bloody clue what it's for. Yes, it is. And it's mine. Okay, why do you have an Elder Scroll exactly? It's... complicated. I can't really talk about it. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm liking you less and less that basically any question I ask you, the answer is, Oh, it's complicated. I can't possibly tell you. I know I've been alive for millennia and am technically immortal, but we don't possibly have the time for me to answer simple bloody questions. Right, how long were you in there, by the way? Good question. Hard to say. Oh, is it complicated I... by any chance? I can't really tell. I feel like it was a long time. Who is Skyrim's High King? Um, yeah, matter for debate, unfortunately, so never mind. Uh, technically, I suppose if we're going to be truthful, then yeah, Elisif of Solitude will be High Queen. I don't know that name. You say she's Jarl of Solitude? Who supports her? Also, I didn't actually say she was the Jarl at all, you just kind of intuited that, but whatever. Uh, yeah, sure, let's explain the Civil War situation to you. Empire? What... what Empire? Oh, fun fact! Imperials, Cyrodiil, took over just about everything. Cyrodiil is the seat of an Empire? I must have been gone longer than I thought. Definitely longer than we planned. Please, let's hurry. I need to get home so I can figure out what's happened. Okay, that's fair enough. Anything- ooh! Hello, I can actually trade things with you. Any chance I can trade for, and by that I mean you just hand over the Elder Scroll. Not going to happen. Oh, Actually, you know what? I respect her more for that. Unlike a normal companion who, you know, you've met them and five minutes later you can just rob them blind. No, she's not up for that. I like you better already, Serana. Now, why exactly were you locked away? I'm gonna guess it's complicated. I'd rather not get into that with you. That's just a rephrasing of it's complicated. Now, how exactly are we gonna get out of here? Your guess is as good as mine. This place looks pretty different from when I was locked away. Okay, so she's as bloody useful as a chocolate teapot. Fine, I guess we just go this way and figure it out as we go along. Uh-oh. Problems. Ooh! Gargoyles! Do you have any chance want to help me with these? Because I was kind of hoping you would. Hello? Do you want to, like, take them on or something? Or do you want to maybe control them? Can you do that? I feel like we could, you know, use the help. Oh, no. No, no, no. No interest in that. Right, gargoyles. Let's just... Oh, they're not that good. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Those are much less dangerous than I thought they would be. Right, gargoyle. Moonstone ore. Ah, because you're literally made of rock. So I can get ore off you. That's kind of cool. Also, wasn't there a second one? I swear there was a second one. Was there not a second one? Yeah, there he is. Right. You go over there and just kind of draw his attention, please. Thank you. Look, it's, it's literally running at you. It's running at you right now. Okay, fine. I guess I'll take care of this. And just paralyze it again. And down he goes. Right. Go, Goyos. Do not seem so unmanageable. I just kicked that one in the face. That's pretty damn badass if I do say so myself. Yep, absolutely. flipping lootly. Now, over here, what else have we got? Actually, what's the... What's this thing? There's a... There's just a stone with some nice red eyes there going on. Lovely. Also, ooh... Did you just actually bring a skeleton back to life in order to fight for you? Oh, I do that too! Also, you've got really nice glowy eyes. Okay, me and you could be friends. We both like necromancy. We both like dressing ridiculously. Okay, me and Serana, I could see us striking up a really nice friendship here. Also, today in completely bloody useless weapons, a steel sword of dismay, damage 44, and creatures and people up to level 5 flee from combat. Oh my, truly I shall be a monster feared across the land. You know what, I will give the game props, that surprised me. I wasn't expecting the box to reveal a flipping person, and I'm guessing that's what the blood was for. She was asleep, but the blood woke her up, because she's a vampire. That's pretty bloody cool. On the other hand, though, me and her potentially to have a chat about, you know, the usefulness of what we're bringing back. Because, kind of but notice, she's got a dagger and brings back skeletons. I've got Chillrend and summoned Dramora Lords from Hell. So, she's like me, but much, much worse. And I'm guessing this is a room where we're going to learn how useful she is in combat, if at all. Because, bloody hell, is something about to wake up and attack us in here. Oh, flipping yes. Right. 
What's all this then? Come on, pop out of your crypts. Actually, you know what? I can verify that. Quick pass. Yep, I see you there. Come on, guys. Pop out. In fact, actually, any chance I can... Can I force you to come out by attacking the right ones? No. No, I can't. Never mind. Eh? Right, well, I can see this right here. So I may as well flipping get you over there and then crack open all of that. There we are. What have we got here then? Ah, restless. Oh, dear. Well, that's just embarrassing for everyone involved. Oh, you're a bit better. You're a death lord. Yes, that's much better. Lovely. Right, you get in there and start wailing on him. How powerful is your magic? Not my... Oh, hang on. What's attacking me? Oh, flipping skeleton. Bloody hell. Uh, right. Your magic just seems to be gently tickling him, to be honest. I'm not convinced it's helping much. Actually, it's doing a bit. Just not that much. Also, you need to go down restless. Oh, Hello. I'll finish off the restless. There we go. Okay. No, oh, darn it. You just sent him flipping flying. Well, bloody done. I was hoping to get his soul, but no matter. Right. Ooh, an ebony sword. I'll take one of those. At some point, I'm going to need to enchant a new ebony sword. So, also, why did you just... No! No, don't do that! Don't! Stop it! Why did you go for each other there? I'm very sorry. Okay, I don't always vet them properly, I'll admit. Sometimes I just summon them from hell, and I hope they're going to do a decent job. All right, I'm really sorry. Okay, there we go. Also, just... Darn it, I can't pickpocket the flipping Elder Scroll offer. I'm not sure why I want two. I'm not even using the one I've already got, but screw it. It would be nice to have two. I'll probably be the first person in the whole history of Tamriel to be holding two Elder Scrolls simultaneously, and have no bloody use for either of them. Did you hear something? Well, you've just said it, so I'm guessing I'm supposed to. Yes. Ooh, this is cool. Right. Great big skeleton arena, I'm guessing. Vass. Quick vas here. We've got... Ooh. Oh, yeah. We've got a lot of skeletons in seats. And as they're all dotted around, actually, this might be an excellent point for our good friend Stormageddon to make an appearance. Because Stormy should just be able to pretty much clap all of them to death. Lovely. Yep, you're a skeleton. Slightly tougher than I'd like. There's another skeleton, albeit wearing a bit of armor. And a fancy, fancy cloak. Excuse me. Ooh. Hello. You're tough for a bloody skeleton, aren't you? Dear, oh, flipping dear. Right. High level skeletons. Well, I never. Right. Everyone get over there. Okay, you're just a basic skeleton, though. <laughs> All right. You're less of a dangerous one. I'm just going to go over here. Finish off. Ooh, that's it. Oh, blimey. Right. Yeah, smashed him nicely. Also, there's blatantly someone with some nasty shouty powers over there. Ooh, that's a death overlord. That's like a death lord, but presumably even worse. Well, that's fine. Actually, you know what? You guys take care of that for a second. Is there anyone else here? Ah, technically there's a new skeleton who's just been brought back by that guy. Uh, is it fine? Oh, no, sorry. You've brought back that skeleton to fight for us. Oh, that's cool. Right, well, let's just start wailing on this guy for a bit. Insufficient charge. Oh, bloody hell. Hopefully, I've got a flipping uh, black, fully charged black star thing, right? Yes, I do. Good. Next time I run into a human, make sure I steal his immortal soul. You know what? I think I'll settle into being a vampire just fine. And now we're all just going over here. Oh, yeah. Death Overlord, when it's me and Serana and her thrall and my thrall all together. Yeah, I think this is working just flipping fine. Now, what was the point of this really cool room? Ooh, burnt corpse. Okay, skeletons just burning corpses. Can I run over here? I can, but I will take a little bit of damage and set myself on fire. Okay, this is cool. Burnt corpses just being crisply, crisply crisped up there. Very, very nice indeed. The skeleton gods wanted a flipping corpse to be burnt for them, I guess, or something. Now... Word of power. Don't forget that. Hello. Now, this is presumably a new shell added by Dawnguard. Surely this area isn't actually in the main game. I guess it's added by Dawnguard or it's locked up until you're doing Dawnguard. So, drain vitality. Okay, that does not sound particularly useful because I'm not really a kind of, you know, vitality stamina using person. But I'll have a little looksy at it, sure. Here we are. Coax both magical and mortal energies from your hapless opponents. It does say magical. Okay, so, ah, okay, the first level of the shout is stamina. 
Got it. So right now I would drain stamina, but I'm guessing it's also going to then add like the second chapter's going to be magic and the third's going to be health. Okay, that's kind of cool. We've actually got that fully upgraded. That might actually be kind of fun. Also, Frost Breath is. I've actually learned all three levels of Frost Breath, but I'm not sure why I'd ever do that when I've got Ice Form, which does seem much, much cooler. Right, up we go. Keep on heading this direction. Uh, open that up. And back exit. Lovely. Um, we're going to have to nip back round to the front for a second, by the way. I need to pick up my dog. Hope you're all right with that. <sighs> it's so good to breathe again. Even in this weather, it's better than the cave. Okay, and now we're just out here somewhere, and now just quickly check the map indeed. Hang on, back to the main map. Oh, it's totally Hogwarts. Oh yes, we're going to Hogwarts. Boom, lovely. Right, we're not going there just yet. Um, before we do that, I do indeed just need to go and grab my dog. There he is. Who's a good boy? Follow me. There we are, got my dog back. Right. Vigilance back on side. Now I've got a tag team of me, Vigilance, Serana, the undead that Serana brings back, and whatever monstrosity from hell I decide to summon. Marvellous. I can deal with that. That sounds very, very good indeed. Right. So I can fast travel straight over to the jetty, because I've been there before. Lovely. Um, this is the part where we usually get in the boat. Are you with me? Okay. I like her that she's slightly sarky. No, I want to wait until daylight so we can do this. Oh, hang on. Daylight! Right! I'm no fan of the sun. Could be better than this. Yeah, actually, are you okay in the daylight? That's an interesting question. Let's just wait a few hours until the sun's come out just to actually check that, because I'm now curious. How are you feeling about sunlight? I mean, I can see you're wearing a nice cow to cover your face. You also do have, um, a bit of a hole in your top. Like, I know you like showing off your cleavage, but as a vampire, I would have thought your priority would be, like, not getting skin in the actual sun. But never mind, apparently you're one of those vampires that can just be, you know, very happily out and about in the light. Which is good! Whatever sort of vampire that is, I'd like to be that sort of vampire, please. Basically, it just means you get really cool-looking eyes and awesome magic powers, but you can live your life pretty much exactly the same as you would have done otherwise. So, right, now we've established that, and that you're the good sort of vampire, and that's the sort I want to be, let's go over to Hogwarts, where you live, because this just keeps getting better and better. And here she is. Now... Weapons away. We want to be nice and friendly here. It's just me and your queen and my dog as well. Although actually, those gargoyles are going to wake up now. Because last time we were here, they didn't. But now we know they theoretically do. Are me and you cool? Okay, we're cool for now. Lovely. Right, over to the gate. This guy was completely uninterested in me last time. I'm guessing he's going to be more interested in Booby McGee over here. Right, Serana, get over there, please. Go on. Make sure we actually get inside, please. Hello, I'm back and I've brought company. Interestingly, Serana has no interest in speaking to the doorman. Do you need me to do it for you? All right, I guess I'll do it for you. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. No, she'd literally rather talk about the weather than bother actually, you know, getting herself back in the castle. Hello, excuse me. Go away, we don't suffer trespassers. Go on, get out of here. I've literally brought your undead queen back from the dead. So, this is the place. Right, so this is your home then. <laughs> I think I need to talk to her before she'll have to be let inside. This is it. Home sweet castle. Okay, I'm going to be honest, it's cooler than the flipping Dawnguard castle, so my mind is made up. And it is indeed impressive, as it was the last time I came out here. Yeah, sorry to spoil the dramatic reveal, I kind of came here earlier. It's something alright. And just flipping perfect timing. The flipping snowstorm just ended, and now it's a lovely day. It's so bright out here. I don't know how you stand it. No, no, she's still not requesting to come inside. Right, this is a concern. Okay, we've got a bug that apparently is known and sometimes shows up, so that's fine. It's time to fix it with console commands. Right, according to the wiki, those commands should work. Go on, get out. That did literally nothing. Okay, plan two, I'm going to literally force myself inside the castle and then move Serena to me. Right, that should do the job for getting me inside. Present yourself to Lord Harkon at once. Right, lovely. Now, I'm in here, Vigilant isn't, and Present you, whoever the bloody hell you are, you're not- Oh, good! 
She's managed to follow me as well. Marvellous. Okay. I thought I might need to move her to join up with me. But that's fine. I think we've just managed to solve it. Hello there, Lord Harkon. It took a bit of effort to get inside. Also, oh, I'm sorry. Your dog's allowed inside the dining hall, but mine isn't. Well, lardy flipping da. Everyone's really relaxed. No one's even, like, you know, stood up or run over to her or anything. Blimey. In fact, no one cares. She's just here. Hello there, Serana. Can't help but notice, um... Everyone's eating, ooh, vampire cattle, who are apparently not dead. <laughs> right, they're just literally tied up and, um, screaming in pained agony. Well, that's, that's good, that's good. Arguably, these guys are not the goodies. After so many centuries, I feared the Elder Scroll and my daughter were lost to me. Yeah, his evil voice also makes me think, not the good guys, but then in all fairness, I think we already well established, I don't think I'm really the good guys either, so it's probably fine. Hello, I'm John. I'd like to join you, please. I am Harkon, Lord of this court. By now, my daughter would have told you what we are. To be honest, I, you know, would have guessed from the fact that your tables are just full of people um, eating things called vampire cattle. So broadly, I guessed yes. Not just vampires. We are among the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim. For centuries we lived here far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. Okay, so, your wife betrayed you, we'll have to ask more about that later, but I have restored your daughter to you by solving a very simple puzzle and like stabbing my hand with a thing or something, so technically it was my blood that woke her up, which is kind of cool, so I feel like me and you are related now. Now, what reward do I get? Because is it becoming a vampire? Because if so, 100% I'm on board. I was about to suggest that very thing. Yes, you must certainly deserve a reward. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. I offer you my blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your approach and you will never fear death again. Okay, he's overselling that because I'm guessing you can still theoretically die. And in fact, for my carrot, who's a little bit, you know, paper thin, I very likely will die very, very regularly. And, oh, don't refuse. I'm totally up for this, but just in theory. Then you will be prey, like all mortals. I will spare your life this once, but you will be banished from this hall. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! This is the power that I offer. Now, make your choice. I'm gonna be honest, you looked more badass before you did that, but okay. The wings are a nice touch. Can you actually fly? I feel like there should be follow-up questions first. Like, if I use the power, do I always look like that? Can you fly? Can I fly? Can I turn into bats? I've always wanted to turn into bats. Also, like other powers, when you say most powerful of all vampires, what were the original vampire powers and how are yours better? You know what? I'm just going to say yes. I feel like ever since Ben all left, for reasons we won't go into, life just hasn't been worth living. So maybe undeath will be better. I accept your gift and become a vampire. Be still. And now I'm in a strange black and white wibbly world. All right then. Hello. Are we okay? Okay, everything's fine now. Everything's fine. Right, so. Ooh. Is that the magical place where I become a vampire? Ooh, okay. Awake at last. Good. The power is growing within you. And now you must learn to wield it. Okay, yes, indeed. Um, I am ready to learn about new powers, but... What actually happened? Where am I and stuff? My blood is potent. At first the body is overwhelmed by it. After my bite, you collapsed and fell into a slumber. 
Now your flesh has acclimated to the new blood that courses through your veins. I assure you, no harm was done. In truth, your strength surprises me. Not all mortals can withstand my embrace. You see, stuff like that, like what I'm about to do might kill you, that's the sort of thing you tell me before offering me a simple yes-no choice, okay? Also, where the heck am I now? Because it's kind of cool. A shrine to Molag Bal, the mighty Daedra Prince who is father to all our kind. Ooh, I know him! I'm his chosen champion! I've got a mace with his face on it and everything! It is he who first bestowed the gift of the ancient blood upon me. Oh, I should have just asked him for it directly. I had no reason to help out you bastards. Me and him are besties. In an age long forgotten to history, I ruled as a mighty king. My domain was vast, my riches endless, and my power infinite. And yet, as my mortal life neared an end, I faced a seemingly invincible enemy. My own mortality. I pledged myself to Molag Bal. And in his name, I sacrificed a thousand innocents. In reward, he gave everlasting life to myself, my wife, and my daughter. And so I have defeated mortality itself. Do you think he means literally a thousand, or is that just kind of like poetic? Like he just means a lot. Like, you know, maybe it was a couple of hundred or something, but once you lose count and you've just been doing it for so long you've no idea, you just say, it was a thousand! I sacrificed a thousand innocents to Molag Bal. I mean, he doesn't strike me as the sort of Daedric prince who, you know, takes particular care of the details. He's not the sort of guy who sits there in, like, wherever it is Daedric princes sit, with a ledger, keeping track of exactly how many. As long as the blood is running, you know, fresh and often, I feel like that's probably good enough. Alright, fine. Tell me about my new powers. Again, should have asked that before actually signing up, but whatever, I. Eh? With my guidance, you will become a deadly instrument, striking terror into the hearts of mortals wherever you tread. Now listen to my words and do as I instruct. The true power of the ancient blood is found in the form of the Vampire Lord. Assume the mantle of the Vampire Lord, and we will continue. Okay, use your Vampire Lord power. I'm guessing that that is in fact a power that I activate the same as anything else. Hang on, so <laughs> you say, transform into a Vampire Lord and I'll teach you more. Okay, this is terrible instruction. You need to tell me how to do it. But I'm going to guess it's in my powers section. Now there we are, Vampire Lord. So I can use the revert form power to change back afterwards, lovely. Where's revert form power? I'm guessing that's just what that becomes. If I favour that, I've just automatically favoured the other. Ooh, but I've got new powers as well. Ooh. Wait. Reanimate a weak dead body. Okay, I'm sorry. You're the most powerful of all vampires. You can do flipping... Hang on, what even is that? Is that just like the... The level 2 or the level 1 resurrection? I've got level 4 resurrection. Alright, this better be something better. Ooh, night vision for 60 seconds. Ah! Okay. That might actually be worth thinking about. <laughs> because my combination of uh, certain lighting mods and the modded candlelight I use, not everyone's a fan of it. So potentially, proper dark dark, but with some vampire sight, that might be a solution. That might be cool. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to favourite both of them. I'm not going to favourite that one. That was bloody useless. But, Vampire Lord. Yeah, I can deal with that. Let's just set that quickly. Vampire Lord and... Kaboom! And woobly 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 woo! There we go! Hello there, I'm a vampire lord now. In this form, you can drain the life from your foes with your right hand. With your left hand, you can wield the power of blood magic to raise the dead. You can also call upon the powers of night to turn into a swarm of bats and reappear some distance away. Should you run out of magic, you can descend to the ground and fight as the beasts do. Oh, I'm flying! Oh, I'm flying! Right, also, am I technically fighting you right now? Because I didn't mean to. Right, okay. So, things I can do. I can now bring dead stuff to fight for me, but it's kind of useless. I've also got whatever this is. Hang on. You, vampire cattle. Okay. So, when lifeblood has absorbed, my vampire powers have got better. Hang on, I'm still learning here. And now, 
I can bring you back to actually fight for me. Right? Okay, good. So, I've got magic and melee modes. Ooh, bloody hell! And I just tapped B, and I've got a special thing going on here. Ooh, blimey. Okay, we'll come back to that in a minute. Because I was just planning to check exactly how powerful my abilities are, because I'm not sure. Okay, so you're now fighting for me again. And I've got that again. Vampire cattle. Vampire cattle. Okay. Whatever this is exactly, it feels pretty powerful. And I've got plenty of magic. Can I just basically... No, you need to charge it for a second. Fine. So, if I run out of magic, I need to drop down onto the ground and whatever. But uh, I feel like I've got sufficient magic and magic recharge that uh, that won't actually be a problem. Ooh, is that skeletons up here? Hang on, hang on. I want to play with some skeletons for a second here. Ooh, that's a giant pile. Oh, I can't just bring back a giant pile of bones as some form of, like, terrifying many, many skeleton monstrosity. That'd be amazing. Right, so... I've basically got myself, yeah, a zappy thing, which makes me stronger, is the implication, and a melee mode. Okay, let's go into melee mode. You are weaker while on the ground, because you cannot access the blood magic. However, the night powers are still yours to command, and your claws are still formidable weapons. Over time, your powers will grow in strength. Okay, ah, there we are. The Vampire Lord Perk Tree. Okay, that I approve of. Uh, though first... Okay, so... I've got myself a nice thing there. Ah, okay, so I've got power attacks with my claws, or just normal attacks too. We need to check how powerful those are. And I assume I can... Can I dual wield? No, okay, you can't really kind of dual wield your own claws or anything to do a big swing. Fine. you new night powers and blood magic. I keep a stable of thralls in the castle, should you need to feed like the base of vampires to stave off the sun. That is all I have to teach you. If you wish to be reminded of these lessons, you need only ask. I have a task that will test your new powers. But first, do you have any questions? Okay, I'm just going to quickly check whether he's got any more details on that. But other than that, I think we probably need to move on at this point. With each passing day that you do not feed, that weakness will become more deadly. But your powers will also become stronger. Feed upon those who are sleeping and your vulnerability to sunlight will diminish along with your powers. Ah! Okay, vulnerability to sunlight is going to go up as I don't feed, but if I don't feed, I get stronger. So vampires by drinking blood get weaker. That strikes me as backwards, but alright, fine, whatever I guess. You know what, I'm ready to carry out this task. What exactly is it? Good. Go and speak to Garen Marethi. Tell him it is time. He will understand. Okay. Bloodline completed and use my revert power thingy, the Bloodstone Chalice. Ooh, cool. Right, so, hang on. Ah, bats! While I'm in this mode, I've got bats. Revert or Vampire Sight. Okay, go over to Vampire Sight here. What does that do? That just gives me... Okay, so it's kind of like the, um, the race ability that the Khajiit have, isn't it? Because they've got something like that. They've got kind of a knight thing. Okay, need to test bats. Bats seems cool. Now, bats. Ooh! It's like a blink ability. Okay, what's the cooldown on it? Okay, the cooldown on it is incredibly... Also, vigilance is here now. <laughs> vigilance is allowed in. Right. How far can I travel with this thing? This is kind of like wolves, but it's bats. So hang on. Just go over here. Just go. Just no. Go. There we go. Ah, bats power is ready. Okay, so it's got a bit of a cooldown on it. There we are. Bats power is recharging. Just keep hammering it. Okay, it's definitely inconsistent. I'm not sure if it's got like a certain number of charges or something, because it's nothing on screen saying that. It's not based on magic meter. There we are. Bats power is ready. And then, then I can do it again. Ah, okay, so you've got like maybe two uses before it needs recharging. Now, hang on. Um, right. Vigilance. Come here, boy. Right. So this here, this is delicious. I'd like you to be a vampire doggy, please. So just hop up here and just lap the... That's right. Who wants to be a mole-like bal doggy? 
In theory, I could feed on... No, don't feed on Vigilance. That would be bad. Right. Down onto the ground. In fact, actually, can I... While I'm up here, can I see what my... Ah! Here we are. Vampire Sight Bats. Okay. So if I've got Bat Set or I've got Raised Dead Set... Wait, what's the difference between Raised Set and... Ah! That's on my left hand. Got it. And right now I've got nothing else I can actually put on my left hand, but I'm guessing I will be able to if I go over into my... Oh yeah, okay. The vampire perk tree does seem pretty bloody badass. Question is, it's not telling me how many perks I've got. Also, interestingly, um, now my race is Vampire Lord, not Breton. Okay, intriguing. So, 50 point bonus to health, magicka, and stamina as a Vampire Lord. Unquestionably, that's good, but... I don't actually have any vampire points to spend. Right, what else have we got going on here? Detect creatures, even dwarven automatons. Okay, that's cool. Transform into an invulnerable mist. Okay, well, health, magic, and stamina regenerate. Fine, so just a good way to recover. Everything slows down while you move faster. Ooh. Okay, and that's a... Ah, uh, this is a night power I can actually start casting instead of that useless bring back weak things ability. Okay. So these are basically like abilities that are good as shouts. Like, that's just detect life, but a bit better, isn't it? And then that's just power of the grave. Blo ah! Okay. So this is stuff that goes in my left hand. Got it. My knight power. Got it. But over here, this just makes my, my blood magic better. Could pull a creature from a distance and do choking damage. I'm so glad I picked Vampire. Uh, can conjure a gargoyle to fight for you. Oh no, this is stuff that goes to my right hand that's not just basic blood magic. Target is paralyzed. Okay, but I'm not sure what the criteria for this or how I earn Vampire perks. Maybe just get them for doing quests for this guy. Killing a person with a power attack bite restores all your health. Knight and blood magic cost 33% less. And then we've got, hang on, poison, poison. There we go, poison talons are... 20 points of poison damage on top of whatever it does. I don't know the numbers. I really would like to see the numbers, please, but I'm just not allowed to do so. And Night Cloak, in combat you're surrounded by a cloud of bats that feed on enemies within melee range. So basically like a fire cloak, like say the Dunmer get, but made of bats, which is unquestionably better. And yeah, right now I'm not allowed to select anything. I know I've got spare perks in a normal perk tree, but okay. Well, that's nice. Let's just quickly go back to revert form, I guess. Go back into my normal human form. And now I am just me again. Lovely. And now I can use my normal perks again. My normal perks are back again. Speaking of which, by the way, back to illusion because that's now 70. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll take rage, thank you. Lovely. Frenzy on high level opponents. Good, good, good. And can I just do this as many times as I actually want to? Let's check here. Yes. Yes, I can. So anytime I want to, I can just turn myself into this thing. And I'm just around. Oh. Okay. So <laughs> even while I'm in this form, um, I do actually still have, you know, identified gender there. I've still got boobs. I'm still wearing a bra. All right. Fine. <laughs> I'm not sure where this particular... Wait. Hang on, how do I... Oh, no, sorry, that's flying versus not flying. Now, back to how I should be. No, no, that's a... That's just using bats. Hang on. There we go, that's how I transform back. Right, so if I transform back, I'm absolutely fine. It's only while I'm in vampire mode that there's any form of, like, potential weakness to sunlight. Or whatever. Got it! Also, you are such a good boy that you didn't attack me while I was in vampire mode. Good dog. Ah, and Serana, still holding that darn thing, is actually waiting for me out here. Hello there. Yes? Nope, she doesn't want anything from me at all. Fine. And now we can have a quick looksy round. So, we've got the dining hall down there. We already know about a whole bunch of people over there. Actually, this place doesn't seem that big. Let's have a quick looksy round here. Am, and a lot of this stuff is marked as stealing. Even though I have, you know, delivered his daughter and the Elder Scroll, and I deserve to be brought into the family, apparently I'm not allowed to borrow soul gems yet. I'm not that light. It's not like I went up to them and said Battleborn or something. So I've headed back over to Lord Harkon here, and yes indeed, Serena's mother. You made her immortal, and then she betrayed you. What's her deal exactly? Her name was Valerica. She has been gone for so long now, I can only assume she has left this world one way or another. I will say only that we did not part on good terms. 
What else do you want to know? Um, you know you already told me she betrayed you, right? Like, you literally already told me that bit, so that's fine. Yeah, how exactly long has it been since Serena went missing? Serana and her mother disappeared long ago. I commanded every vampire in the court to look for them. But after centuries of searching without success, I lost hope. In my heart, I know that it was my wife, Valerica, who took my beloved daughter away from me. If I ever see her again, she will pay most dearly for that betrayal. What else do you want to know? Ah, he actually has no idea. He just assumed. Right, well, I'm guessing there's more to that story than we know yet, then. Very well. Do not forget the price of your new power. I expect your complete obedience. No, hang on. No, 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 no. The deal was I rescued your daughter in the Elder Scrolls, so I got the power as a reward. There was no deal for obedience going on here, all right? Bloody hell, he keeps changing the bloody deal. I have kept my end of the bargain. Now I expect you to keep yours. There was no bargain! There was no bargain at all! Literally the only bargain was this was a reward for me saving your daughter, you dick! Also, I'm not going to steal it, but I notice over here, he's got a potion of blood. So if I don't want to feed, I could potentially use a potion of blood to stave off the whatever exactly goes wrong. Ooh, you actually have a coffin! Oh, la -dee da I saw beds in the other bedroom, but no! No, this is bloody hipster vampire. Insists on sleeping in a coffin, even if it's terrible for your back. You'll be a welcome addition to the court, I'm sure. If I may... Let me offer you a piece of advice. Be careful who you trust. Not all of us have the court's best interests at heart. Ortheof, for example. He'll tell you he means well, but believe me, he can't be trusted at all. Keep that in mind, will you? Okay, Ortheof can't be trusted. And why exactly can't he be trusted then? He claims to serve loyally, but he really covets the throne. He sees himself in charge someday. His ambition will justify any actions. Put your faith in him, and you will regret it, I promise you. You see, in most games, I'd assume that meant actually he's the good guy and ultimately will end up siding with him. But in all fairness, when you're doing, like, uh, the Major's College, pretty much straight away someone says, By the way, that guy over there, he's a bad guy, and he did turn out to be the bad guy. So Orfjolf might well turn out to be the bad guy yet. Right. Well, as you've mentioned Orf Yolf to me, let's go and find Orf Yolf. Hello, are you Orf Yolf? No, you're just some guy, Namasur. Right, not you. Where's this Orf Yolf? Oh, there he is. Blimey, you were saying that very loudly, given he's right bloody there. Hello. Good to see a new face here, especially one that isn't attached to an elf. Between you and me, there's too many of them. Can't trust a lot of them. Never could. Want my advice? Avoid getting wrapped up in Vingalmo's schemes. He's after the throne, and he'll kill anyone that gets in his way. Right, so both of you think the other can't be trusted, though admittedly, your distrust seems to be rooted in racism, whereas his, well, is possibly rooted in your racism, who knows? Of course not. He's an elf, isn't he? He'll cozy up to you, use his honey's words to get you to lower your guard, to use you and throw you away when he's done with you. You'll watch yourself around him. Okay. Intriguing. Also, barrels of blood. Very, very bloody convenient. Oh, everything a vampire could want. Oh, that's lovely. That's just lovely. A skeleton being drained in the blood draining area. Very bloody nice. Right, now you had a fancy name, didn't you? You are, yes, Ragal Thrallmaster. That sounds fancy. Hello. You're new here, so I'll explain this once. You feed from the thralls as much as you like. You kill them, and I'll split you in half. Okay, and I'm guessing the thralls would just like kidnap them or whatever? All over Skyrim. It's my job to collect them. I try and keep something for everyone. For every taste, I mean. Sometimes you get one who comes willingly, but most have to be convinced to join us here. Okay. Very, very nice indeed. And okay. where exactly are these thralls if I want to like have a little nibble on one just to see if I like the like the flavour? You're welcome here. 
As long as you don't overfeed on the thralls. Yeah, but where actually are these thralls? And ah, wait, hang on. No, 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 no. Wait, I think I get it. Presumably, I have to be a vampire to like you know feed on thralls, right? So just quickly go into my vampire mode. Excuse me, sorry, I'm new to this, so I still do it a bit, you know, dramatically. Wait, wait, what? What? Why? Why did you do that? Hang the flip on here. I just turned into a... You're a vampire too. Why would this have been a problem? How powerful is this, by the way? Oh, right. That blood magic is pretty powerful as it turns out. Right, I get my health back. Got it. Now, I probably want to reload from an earlier save, because that was exactly what I didn't want to do. Also, can I bring you back now? Do you want to come back? No, he's too powerful for that. Right, is anyone else going to object to this? Okay, sorry, is the castle of vampires prejudiced against vampires? Because if so, that's weird. Oh, wait, hang on. No, that... Who are you attacking? Are you going for the dog right? They're going for the dog! Why? This doesn't want the... What's happening? And now they've calmed down! What? I wish Orthiolf and Vingama would just get it over with and kill each other. Oh, I'm tired of listening to them. I'm tired of listening to you already. You have an incredibly annoying voice. New blood, eh? Let's get something very clear. I don't care about politics. You want to fight over the throne with the rest of them, go right ahead. I feed when I'm hungry, I sleep when I'm tired, and I kill whenever I'm in the mood. Those are the things that are important to me. Right, let's never actually speak to her again. But yes, apparently she can train in two-handed weapons. Also, oh go on, I'm going to regret this. But tell me, what's your job? Simple. He says kill. I kill. <laughs> Sometimes he doesn't even have to say it. Now this time, let's not transform too close to them. Hang on, let's just quickly test this, because I suspect that's what's actually happened there. I transformed too close to them, and when you transform, there's a bit of like a corona of damage. Right, stand over here away from everyone. Transform. There we go. Now, okay. That upsets you. Right. So I'm pretty sure, yes, if you're standing too close to someone, that upsets them. So apparently transforming into a vampire is itself aggressive. Transforming into a human, however, let's just quickly revert back here. Transforming back into a human, however, is not. Right, got it. Don't transform too close to anyone, because apparently no one accepts that as just, you know, an occupational hazard of being a vampire. Okay, so back here... Don't transform too close to Raggle Thrallmaster or whatever. And yes, indeed, we've got ourselves lads here. Hello, vampire cattle. And I can feed on him or talk to him. Let's talk to him. What's happening? Ah, I see. You've been well hypnotized or something, so you barely know what's bloody going on. Also, there's... Ah, that's where you dump the bones when you're done. Lovely. Now, who have we got here? Who looks tastier? So we've got... Hang on, can we identify what you are? You're... I think you might be a Breton. You're a Dunma over there. Or we've got you. Hello. Who are you exactly? <sighs> Not sure. Could be anything. Could be Nord. Actually, there's a big... Oh, hang on. Who's that behind you over there? Could open the door. Am I allowed to open the door? Is that okay? They don't seem like they're going to run. The door's not even locked. So, hang on. Who are all you guys? Just, uh, chat to him. Let me go. Okay, these guys seem a little bit on the weak side, so not these two. Okay, I'm gonna go for you. Let's just sample you, just quickly here. Hello there. So, we're just gonna feed on you. There we are. And my vampiric powers recede because I've fed. Okay, lovely. That's... Okay, Vigilance, you're in the way, okay? You're a good boy, but you're in the way. Right, now she's now asleep. Don't feed on any one person more than once. So I guess we'll just feed on you. Lovely. And let's just give you a go as well. Just see how I feel about done my blood. Ooh, nutty. Right, lovely. So you're all fine. Close the door again when I'm done. 
And if I need to, I can just nip back here for a quick bit of feeding if, like, you know, my lack of blood gets out of control or whatever. But that's fine. How do I check that, by the way? Presumably it's in active effect. Let's check that out here. Ah, okay, there's a bunch of stuff. Champion of the Night, Illusion Spells of the Vampire, 25% more powerful. Okay, nice. Vampires, 25% harder to detect while sneaking. Oh, better and flipping better. That syncs up really nice with what I want to do, yes. Vampiric Blood, 100% resistance to disease. That's good too. And 20% resistance to frost, fine. Age of Mara, and hang on. Ooh, 100% poison resist. Wait, didn't you just... Oh, no, sorry, that was um, disease, not poison. Okay, this is all useful stuff right here, because probably I'm technically, like, undead or something. However, weakness to fire. Okay, watch out for fire. I'm now weaker to that, but I'm more resistant to frost. So uh, I'm kind of a bit more of a Nord, I guess, if you like. Lovely. Okay, that's good to know about my new abilities and powers and whatever. Now, where's this guy I'm supposed to speak to? Let's figure out what my next mission is today. Let's wrap up by speaking to him. Hello over there. I am above the petty squabbles here. I have lived for far too long to be bothered with them. To be honest, like, we're all vampires who are centuries old. Well, apart from me, I'm new. But, uh, yeah, kind of everyone's lived too long to be bothered by them, so it's a bit of an odd thing to say. Hello there, you have a mission or something, right? I have never understood the Nord fascination with weapons. Magic is so much more versatile, don't you think? I actually do. In fact, I'm the flipping president of the Majors College, and I've got a message or something. Lord Harkon, remember your place. Now, what is our Lord's wish? And it is time, apparently. Well, well. He wants the chalice, then. You've heard of the Bloodstone Chalice? Oh, wait! Yes, actually! I think I have! In fact, I think I've found it! I might have it on me! Wasn't that the thing in Redwater? No, hang on, was that a drawing of it? I think I might have found it already, potentially. Because I swear that was the thing that was already being mentioned, because there was a special chalice in a vampire dungeon I just accidentally found while I was out and about. No. Don't try and impress me. It only leaves you looking foolish. The chalice has been in Lord Harkin's possession for quite some time now. It is, when used properly, able to increase the potency of our powers. He has neglected using it for ages. If he wants it filled now, then grander things are afoot. This is good. Follow me. I'll take you to it. Lord Harkin has never cared to use the chalice, relying on his more than adequate powers until now. This is an intriguing change. Okay, so I don't have it, but yeah, I did see a drawing of it previously, and I'm pretty sure I know where you want me to take it. Um, Red Water Den, if I recall correctly. Marvellous! Well, I've already cleared that place out, though I imagine it will repopulate now. Excuse us. I need to fetch the Bloodstone Chalice. The Chalice? Why? What are you up to, Garan? Lord Harkin's orders, Ortheolf. Calm yourself. Our friend here has been ordered to fill the chalice. Really? Indeed. She's off to Redwater Den. Well then, best of luck to you. Bengalmo and Ortheolf are Harkin's primary advisors. I'm sure they're quite surprised to learn that you're taking the chalice. There was no need to speak to them at all, was there? You decided to just go over to them just to rub it in and cause trouble. Now. This chalice needs to be filled directly from the bloodspring that is the source of Redwater Den. But that's not enough. Once that's done, the blood of a powerful vampire needs to be added to it. Keep in mind that Redwater Den has fallen into... Well, let's just say less reputable members of society now dwell there. It's your choice whether to attempt to deal with them or force your way through. Hurry back. You don't want to keep Lord Harkon waiting. Ah, okay, so whatever has respawned there, I might be able to negotiate my way through there. Nice. Okay, intriguing. Now, I'm going to take that there. Any I chance, like, someone would like to come with me? Like, Serana, in particular, because I feel like Serana and me could become friends. Oh, there she is. Found her up here. Hello, Serana. What is it? Nope, tragically she's not interested in joining me. She was only a temporary companion. I'm sure we'll be seeing her again later though. 
Also, I've no idea whether or not the actual, you know, drawbridge outside is now open. Hopefully, I've advanced the question it will be. And my vampire blood apparently boils in the sunlight. Okay, what does that mean exactly? Ah, health, magicka and stamina do not recover while in sunlight and are reduced by 15 points. Right, that's quite a big bloody weakness you didn't bloody mention. Alright, fine, might need to be travelling around a bit more in the shadows and at night. Also, okay, so um, that gate's still there and I don't see an obvious switch to get it up. Fine, I guess we'll just get used to using flipping console commands. <laughs> Me and you, Vigilance, I guess we're just fast travelling and console commanding from now on. Yep, there we are, safely away, having fast travelled out of the little foyer, and indeed you can see there. And right now, my stamina is not coming back. Now, if I just move into, like, a shady spot, like, does it start coming back? How shady does shady need to be? Like, is literally... Okay... Also, I've just got some bolts that are just kind of hovering off the side of me. My powers get more and more impressive by the minute here. How shady do we have to be before my stamina starts coming back here? Let's just check this. Is, say, over here in the shadow of this tree good enough? Or is literally like anything that's outside? Well, I think it's literally outside. Okay. Intriguing. So, that's going to potentially change the way... I play this game. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I would say that is more than enough for now. Next time we will return to Redwater Den, figure out if it is indeed repopulated, and if it is, how we deal with the vampires therein. Because potentially, with enough speech, we might just be able to talk them round. We shall see about that. And beyond that, well, there's plenty of vampiring to do. Including, we need to start figuring out how exactly we feed this game was saying just on sleeping people would work just fine. So potentially we just sneak into town at night and drink a few people's blood. Not like all of it. They'll survive and whatever. And like to be polite, maybe I like, you know, leave them some plasters by the bedside table. So, you know, when they wake up in the morning and whatever, they can like, you know, put the plasters on the tooth marks. And uh, I'll go to the doctor regularly to make sure I've not got any like, you know, illnesses that they can contract. And if need be, I'll do antibiotics and whatever. It'll all be fine. It'll all be fine. This here, this will be ethical vampirism. And even if it isn't, Vigilance still loves me. And that's the most important thing. So all of that's to come soon. Soon, ladies and gentlemen, but in the meantime, I've been Johnson. There's been many a true nerd, and this has been Skyrim. Thank you very much, and goodbye. We've all learnt a valuable lesson here. When people have the zombie plague, don't allow them into confined spaces with you. We should just actually, like, use cannons. Do we have cannons? Use the cannons. Oh, they've got a big hammer. That's what the noise is. And a pirate's just rammed them. Okay, I think we're, we're in a traffic jam on the sea.